What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kuda Malloy here coming at you with another exciting pasta video with the KitchenAid pasta press going on with the six quart bowl lift mixer thingamajiggy. Anyways, if you've been following along in this video series, basically I took the dough, I rolled it out into these long sleeves, long cylinders like this, and then basically I just put it in there as one long string, so I didn't even have to cut it into the walnut size uh, balls that they're recommending. But basically I'm just moving the tray along. See that moving the tray along, getting the desired length that I want. See that's about right, so I'm gonna slice that. See and that comes off. By the way, in case you're curious, this blade right here is just a very thin piece of metal. So it's not even like a wire per se, it's just a flat piece of metal that kind of goes across. So you pull one way, that'll cut it one time, let your pasta noodles push out or extrude out, and then pull it back the other way and then it'll cut. So it'll cut this way or it'll cut this way either way. And then basically I just have a little bit of flour down in this little uh, tray over here to keep the noodles from sticking. Just a little bit of flour. That's all I did. By the way, now would be a good time to hit that like button down there below. Like the video if you like what you're seeing. Give me a big thumbs up. Also, there's a subscribe button down there if you want to be subscribed to this channel. Also, there's some pretty cool links to some pretty cool products down in the description as well. And feel free to comment because you never know when your comment may turn into a video of its own. But basically, that's the whole process from beginning to end. If you saw the last two videos, this would be video number three in that process. And as you can see, the spaghetti die or the, or the thing that's actually cutting the spaghetti is doing a pretty good damn job of it. So let's see what that looks like on this side. See, and there it goes. So the trick to all this is having a somewhat dryish kind of a dough. So see, I'm getting pretty low down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this end now. I'm gonna put in this end and just plop it in there. And then I'm just gonna take this part and just wrap it around. And it's kind of like a self-feeding thing where the, the auger that's in there that's turning around and pushing the pasta down. I think I'm almost ready to cut this again. I'd say I'm about ready to cut, so let's do the cut. So there's the cut, nice and clean. See, and then there's my noodles. So basically what's going on is the, the auger that's in here, the auger that's spinning around is basically pulling this dough down into the machine. See, and it's kind of like a self-feeding process. It barely moves up here, but you can definitely see the pasta coming down down here. Let's take a look at that one more time. So see how that moves around? And then you get to that point right there. Oh, by the way, in case you're curious about the speed, I'm on, I would say level four, speed number four. I know it's kind of hard, but I'm on speed level four. And it's doing, it's doing a pretty good damn job. And then in the meantime, what I've got is I've got some boiling water here. I'm gonna put about, I'd say a teaspoon of salt in here. So this is about, I'd say somewhere between three to four quarts of water. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of salt in here to salt the water. Maybe just a little drop of olive oil to help keep the noodles from sticking or the pasta from sticking. But as you can see, it's coming out pretty damn nice. I have to say this length is about 12 inches. So this would be about where I'd make another cut. So let's make another cut. And by the way, that's what I wanted to show y'all was this piece of metal right here is just a really flat, it's a very flat blade of metal that you then go whoosh, and it just cuts all the noodles perfectly. See that? And as long as you're very gentle with your touch, the noodles won't stick. I'm gonna push these aside. There goes my spaghetti. That's a whole heck of a lot of spaghetti. I might have to do this like in two separate batches to so just cook this one first. Then I'll dry these out and save these for later. Anyways, Cooter Malloy. There is a like button down there. Please like the video. There's also a subscribe button down there. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, there's some pretty cool links to some pretty cool products down there. There's also a link to my Facebook page 
Cooter Malloy product reviews, so make sure to check that out. And I will catch you all on the next exciting video.